Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. I don't know what the purple means there. Like, is there more to do on that... Yeah. On that mission? Okay, so I still got to kill some coyotes. I've got to kill birds. Desert Sage and Gap Tooth Ridge. Okay. And then Strangers. California, we've got that. Funny Man. American Appetites. Yeah, I'm not really sure how the Stranger Missions Let's go. work. Oh, I missed my turn. Hey, honey. You okay? Where can he be? I don't know. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh let me look at you. Don't look at me. My don't touch me. Mother, you remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? No. I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. Oh, he must she get married? still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. <laughs> Sounds like must it. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. Mm. <laughs> so you want me to go find your <gasps> Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes. What about my day? Please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. <laughs> John, you're such a pushover. She's not that far. Tell her to go find him herself. Would you go look for him? Fine. Come on. I was gonna do Seth while I was here, but let's go find this guy. Tell him he has to get married to this lady. See, look, she could be here in like ten minutes. Let's go in and find this guy. See what kind of couple he's trying trying to cause. Excuse me. When Walton's gang came by, He's actually the musician, right? I need to write my Just so you know, I don't take oh, no. requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter is what she said. You ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. And let's see if we can refresh it. 
Five dollars mm. will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. Here we go again. What do you need done? It's my wife. <laughs> she packed her things this morning and left me. The dumb wince is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. Well, you're in the wrong place for that, Rose. dude. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk for that. I wonder why she doesn't want you back. She just pay the guy five bucks. But he probably still ain't gonna help me. Um, she's over here at the stagecoach office. Is it you? Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless sent you, get lost! Miss, please. Okay. If only... You know what? <laughs> Tell that I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Plain enough. You sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Well, I tried. Oh, come on now. Hmm. Well, you sure ain't no gentleman, are you? Sure, I'll go back to him, but trust me, same as God, kill him when he's asleep. That's your business, madam, and I wish you luck with it. Too yellow to come and get me himself, busy. I'll poison that little maggot. What did he do? What didn't he do? He's a fiddler who can't stop I... fiddling. Ain't a woman in armadillo he ain't had his sweaty paws on. I don't like missions like this. If I even see you look again. You found her. Oh, thank you, my friend. Well, you sure know how to talk to women. You better do some talking now. <laughs> Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. Hmm. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Is that a graveyard? Preserve. You want to spend some time with me? <laughs> All right. Let's see where we need to go now. I'm Herbert Moon. I've just been robbed. You gotta stop him. Okay. Get on the horse, John. Yeah. Ain't this nice? All right, I gave you a chance. Dang it. My wheel didn't come up. Oh, where's this going to put me? Okay. Um, I try to do the right things, and all that ever happens is I just get killed. I just need to stop trying to take people alive and just kill them all. Now where do I need to go? Don't mess with me. Remember the miracle. Let's go. I mean, we could just go back over to Seth. 
Let's see what's on our map. Um, never did finish the American Appetites. What's this one? California. Um, is this where? Yeah. This is where I need to go. So we're doing uh, mostly stranger missions today, but I'm okay with it. the sunset. Whoa. Can't see where I'm driving. Oh. Here we are, a graveyard, just like I thought. See if we can find him. This one. Pete. Betrothed to Miss Alma Horlick, killed by a blow to the head. I didn't read it. Can I read it again? Mm. All right, horse. Never mind. We did our we Let's did go. our thing. Here's another another stranger right here. Might as well do it since we're right here, close to her. Yeah, she's just like on the other side of this. This little graveyard here. Oh. Are you really there? Like an angel from above. You okay? What happened? Hello. Hello there. Howdy, miss. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. I, I've fallen and I can't get up. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. Oh, yeah. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. I remember. Yeah. She was talking yeah, to the preacher. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. Mm -hmm. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. I, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take what you, are you back to do? town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Mm. Well, take care then. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Um, I have medicine, right? Here you go. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. 
I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me. Okay. Were there angels in your vision? Jenny. Just you. Can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. You will be soon. I don't know what she's trying to do. She don't make no sense. gun do I have the shotgun um anything else don't worry horse I just have to uh oh this is new there we go that's one Desert Sage. I just gotta get these birds here. Oh. Sounds like something bad's going on over here. Um, did I get another one or no? I mean, if he's just trying to get a deer. I mean, by all means, he may just be trying to feed his family. I don't know. All right, no more birds over here. Horse, come here. Where are we at here? We're almost to Mr. West Dickens. Let's go see him. Go. Let's also make sure that we are collecting whatever desert sage we see along the way. I don't know, our map may have expired now, though. We're, we're oh, just past one. I think we're getting pretty close to the time limit on it. Coyote, I still need one of those too. Or a couple of them, actually. Our old buddy. I hate this guy. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth Crackhead. <of> the dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet Crackpot. many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. 
Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, mm -hmm. you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. It's not my plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. And feeding you know the I vultures will too. myself. Ah, uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, uh, that lubricant with which we concern ourselves uh, is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon, extra hands, and I need some danger money. So, <laughs> let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Kind of. <laughs> Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of... Activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> of course. Now, sir, do get to preach. Well, I'm not driving this time. That's interesting. Should I skip to destination, or is he going to have some good conversation? Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting. More deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's Watson and Jetsam. Connection with him more like. You and Seth have a lot in common. Sure Both do. rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Ah, oh, my dear Good boy. Point. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. Hmm. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. A Robin Hood with spurs. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, Ooh. simmer down, my boy. You need Jumped to start angry. appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. This my horse is following like a good boy. And I'm gonna need him. Run away from this crazy man. Are we done with the conversation? Seems like it, so let's just skip ahead. Well, what's going on here? Here we are, John. Gap tooth breach.
Race? I don't want to race. Some money, is that right? Stay on the road here. So good. It's a long race for this poor little pony. Where we go? Up? And we're going up this time. Stretch here. Let's go, John. There we go. Mission complete. Hell of a race, mister. I'll Thank take you. care of this cart for Mr. West Dickens. Come on, John. So what Best was the point of that? ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Isn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal <laughs> maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They Why take the race very seriously in these parts, and your participation was not entirely pre-approved. Mm. That was clear. Ah, sports born heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well 
done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> Give me you seem my to money. be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Here we go by again. The name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually like can be Seth? found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. <laughs> Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? <laughs> this guy. Did you bring my horse with you? If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.